ascent using descent devices and descent using ascent devices. So up on the descender, down on the crawl. So start, back right. Then we're going to put the descender on. In its normal orientation, nothing changes because we're going up a bit. We just take the slack down. Now we need the hand descender above. Just a little rope line to tip out past this below the tail rope of the work line just to keep the cow's tail and the foot loop out of the way. Put in the loop. Just again, just take the excess slack through and then just sit down the harness. I find it's easy to start from the seat of position. So you're going to take the left hand on top of the hand descender, right hand nice and close to the descender on the tail rope. We're just going to stand and at the same time we're going to pull straight up towards the ceiling, taking that slap through, move the back of the device, move the hand to the sender, then again, just keep, just keep pulling that slap through. Try and make sure you're doing most of the lifting with your leg as you usually would, and you're just literally using this hand to take through the slap. Now if you are struggling with that, kind of change the setup so like you make it a little bit more efficient with a spare carabiner. So we're going to take that down and attach it to the bottom Behind the sender, we're going to take this tail rope and run that through there. What that does is we're going to pull them down on this rope rather than pull them up. So, same again, left hand on top of the hand sender, as you stand up, just pull down on that tail rope. A little bit more efficient. Now, what we need to do next is a reverse chain rope. Attach the chest to the center. You're going to step up. When you step up, try and keep the left arm nice and high. Should give you some support. Pop the rope in the climbing gear to the chest. Close it up, sit back down. Take the descender off. Now, because of how the teeth are angled inside this chest to the center, the best position for this rope when you're coming down and using the prop is on the left hand side. So all I'm going to do is take that hand, send the back off, move it underneath the rope, pass that around the left leg. And that should make it a little bit easier to come down on the prop. Check the ASAP is not off. Make sure the hand descender is nice and low. Left hand nice and high. Finger in the top of the prop. All we're going to do is push down on the top of this cam. There shouldn't be any risk of the prop coming over not touching this catch at the bottom. Left hand up, step up, push down with your finger at the same time, so slow yourself down with your leg as far as you can. Then bring the hand, send it down to match and repeat. Now alternatively you can hold the hand down, bring it down. Left hand high is a little bit easier on the arm, harder on the hand because you grip the rope. Left hand on the jammer, it's a little bit easier on the hand, but harder on the arm because the angle you create. 